Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. Our system for today is a well-known fella because we've already used it for testing 20 of today's most played Windows games a couple of weeks ago. I'm talking about the Lenovo IdeaPad 317 with its Ryzen 3 3250U, 8 gigs of dual channel RAM and integrated Vega 3 graphics. For today, we are not just simply running additional Windows games, we are testing 7 mobile Android games using the program BlueStacks 5 on Windows 11. Since we are using a dual core CPU with 4 threads, it's important to keep the core count in BlueStacks to 2. Making use of all the 4 threads is simply slowing down the performance in games. So if we are using a real quad core CPU, like an Intel Core i5, 7400, you can set the core count to 4 in BlueStacks. Always set the core count in any emulation software to the real core number of your system, not the thread number. This has been the best, at least in my experience. You might be asking, why aren't you using the built-in Android emulation in Windows 11, which allows you to run Android apps natively? Well, to be honest, I didn't have the best experience with this feature. First of all, right now you have to be enrolled in the Windows 11 Insider program which is just a minimal obstacle, but still a con in my opinion. But the main reason why I'm not using this feature is that it simply doesn't allow me that much tweaking like BlueStacks 5 clearly does. You know, I want to be able to do such simple things like run my app on only two threads instead of four, or reduce my resolution to 900p instead of 1080p to get slightly better performance. Another feature that BlueStacks 5 provides that Windows 11 does not is key profiles. It's providing specific key binds for games. Like in Mobile Legends, you're able to use Q, E, R for casting your spells. You don't have to use your mouse to click on the icons. It's basically these little features that make BlueStacks 5 a way better option right now. So in my opinion, BlueStacks 5 is, at least for gamers, a must-have for emulating Android games. But what about the performance of the Ryzen 3 3250U in these tested titles? Overall, it did a solid job. Really demanding or let's say poorly optimized titles like PUBG Mobile ran okay. Also, COD Mobile has never been barely playable, of course. Some frame drops occur, but these games are designed to run fine at 30 FPS because a lot of low-priced mobile phones are also unable to provide a stable 60fps experience. My experience was that these games don't feel that bad at 30fps, like a COD Warzone would feel because it's designed for way more than 30fps. Other less demanding titles that I've tested like Free Fire, Mobile Legends and Subway Surfers ran all very well. I'd like to go into more detail about Clash of Clans and Honkai Impact, or whatever this game is called. The reason why I've chosen Clash of Clans is that it stands for a lot of games in this test. You know, there are so many similar titles, I'm referring to the used game engine, not the actual gameplay in this case, like Clash Royale, Card Wars, Kingdom or Brawl Stars that all run fine. If a system is able to run heavy titles, like COD Mobile and PUBG Mobile, well, all these little games aren't really that much of a hassle. Last but not least, let's have a talk about Honkai Impact. You probably know that there's a Steam version of this game available. So why have I been choosing uh, the Android version for this test? Well, I truly can't recommend using the Steam version right now. It has a lot of bugs, like causing a black screen directly after the launch, and not being able to use your Miho Yo account at all. So I truly can't recommend using the Steam version and only recommend emulating this game on BlueStacks or downloading it directly from the developer website using the emulation software Game Loop. This should perform similar to BlueStacks. So that's it. My experience with the Ryzen 3 3250U in Android games was a clearly positive one and left a good impression. All in all, I can only recommend having a look at emulation software like BlueStacks or GameLoop if you've got a system with at least 4 threads and 8 gigs of RAM. A high clocked CPU is also a good benefit. There are a lot of Android games out there that are a lot of fun on PC, 
and the best part is that there aren't any costs. That's it for my voiceover, I hope you're going to like this video, if you do feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel. Stay safe and have a great day, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one and now have a lot of fun with the in-game footage. Cheers!
been slain. We can do it. Keep it up until you're as brilliant as me. Mega kill. An enemy has been slain. You destroyed the attack. こんな簡単なクエストのために呼び出さないでよ。